Hello there, Kyle Katarn here. We got a new trailer for The Mandalorian today. Kind of. Disney Plus is launching a new series called Disney Gallery, where it's like behind the scenes looks at different Disney projects. And it looks like Gallery's gonna start by focusing on The Mandalorian, and we got a trailer. I find behind the scenes stuff totally fascinating, especially knowing that The Mandalorian shot on like a 360 degree virtual environment. That's so cool. Anyway, let's check this out. Do it! The enthusiasm is infectious. So much of this process is about Dallas Howard. Howard. and making breakthroughs. Everyone is coming with their own. God, it'll be so cool to be on one of these. Galaxy that can support it. And then also have a group of filmmakers who were not afraid to jump in. It's hard to believe all these years later, there's such Filoni. new stories in oh, this baby Yoda. world. In the eight episodes, okay. Back in a set as if it was built. The outside is all video walls, and the top is video wall. That's insane. That was, for me, one of the most rewarding experiences of someone who just loves Star Wars. It was like one of the weirdest and best things that ever happened. That puppet is so cool. I want to know about the filming puppet. The baby, and he started directing the baby directly. I'm trying to direct Werner, who's now directing the puppet. He was telling us we needed to commit to the magic, make them use the puppet. <laughs> That IT sounds like Werner. Commit like to the magic. They built him out of parts of the old cantina set from A New Hope. We as children like that. It's the coolest assassin robot. It was bolted to the floor. We're trying to draw from all over Star Wars. There's, no, the puppetry is so cool. Action. Sometimes I think it's just like anything in any different scene. You just have energy. And you can see that in the physicality. You can see that in the acting. George reiterated, remember to make these stories hopeful, to give that to kids, because they really need it. It's important to the foundation of Star Wars, but we don't just want an action, we want to feel uplifted. And Star Wars ultimately is about family. It is really saying there is a lot of hope out there. I think now when, I heard she's coming back for season two, allegedly. May 4th, okay, that's coming soon. Well, that was cool. I haven't really done a lot of reactions to behind-the-scenes stuff for Star Wars beyond the occasional sizzle reel. Yeah, I'm very interested to see it, but uh, let me know in the comments below whether you think I should actually react to it or not. Whether that's something you would be interested in seeing. Either way, um, it looks like we're going to get eight episodes of Behind the Scenes, so that'll tide us over until October, November, when Season 2 of The Mandalorian finally comes out. Also, I just found out that Season 3 is already underway. Talk about some confidence in your product. I mean, it is definitely the flagship show of Disney Plus right now. No complaints here, just keep it coming. Thanks for watching everybody. Check out the rest of the channel for more content, reactions, and reviews. Leave me a comment if you have a question or something to say, and let me know whether or not you think I should react to this new Disney Gallery Mandalorian show. If you want to support the channel, head over to patreon.com slash channel. You'll get access to content polls, exclusive videos, full-length reactions, early access, Patreon podcast, a whole bunch of cool stuff. Thanks again, and as always, may the Force be with you.